married daughter. I originally heard this story told as the farmer's fun-loving daughter, but since I brought it back to uh, the United States, usually when I say that, people start to snicker, which makes me think that the majority of the United States people have dirty minds. So I call it the farmer's merry daughter. There once was a farmer, and he had three children. He had two sons and a daughter. He had a large, prosperous land, and both of his sons helped him on the land. Now his daughter, she had other interests. She liked to go out and see the neighbors. She liked to go to the dances and see all the people about, and she generally loved to socialize. So she wasn't much help on the farm. So one day the farmer had a cough, <coughs> and he thought, you know, I should make a will. So he went to the lawyer, he drew up his will, the white lawyer looked it over, he said, you know, that's different, but okay. And then the farmer had another cough, <coughs> and sadly he died. So there was a funeral, and it was a good funeral, and people came back to the house, and they had cold ham sandwiches, because evidently that's what you do when somebody dies of a cough, is you go back to the house and you have cold ham sandwiches. And as they sat there eating, the lawyer gathered the children together and he said, your father did leave a will and uh, it's a little bit unusual, so listen carefully. The house that we're in has 99 rooms. Obviously, you know this, you grew up in this house. But your father said each of you gets to have $100. And with that $100, you have to fill every room from top to bottom, floor to ceiling, using only the $100. The eldest son said, I'll go first. So the lawyer handed him the $100. He took that $100. He went to all the secondhand stores and he bought feather mattresses. He bought as many feather mattresses as he could buy with $100. It was way back when, when feather mattresses were probably not as expensive as they are today. And he went from room to room to room, slitting open the mattresses and filling them with feathers. So then the lawyer started to check. First room, yep floor to ceiling, second room, yep, floor to ceiling. He went from every single room till he got to the 99th room. And there, there was about that much space between the feathers and the ceiling. And the lawyer looked at it, he said, nope, you didn't fill the 99 rooms all the way. Sorry, it's not yours. So the second son said, I'll take a go. He took his hundred dollars, he went to Bed Bath & Beyond, and he bought those big scented candles, you know, the type with one to three wicks that smell like pina colada and vanilla and gingerbread cookies. And he went to every room, and he lit a candle in the center of every single room. By the time he got finished, he called the lawyer over, the lawyer looked into the 99th room and said, what is this? He said, I filled these rooms with light. So he said, okay, I'll deal with that. I deal with odds you know, ideas as a lawyer. So he went from room to room and he looked in each room and there they were filled with light till he got to the very first room where the boy had lit the very first candle. And it had taken them so long to go through every room, that candle had burned out. And the lawyer said, aha, you didn't fill all the rooms, the house isn't yours. And then the farmer's merry daughter, she said, I'll take the hundred dollars now. She took the hundred dollars and she put it in her pocket. And then she went to the kitchen and she got out a big pan and she got out a big spoon. And she began to bang the spoon on the pan, making a noise and singing a song everyone knew while the mourners were still there eating cold ham sandwiches. And they heard the noise and they came out to see what was happening. And they heard the song she was singing and it was a song they knew. And they all started to smile a little bit hum along with the tune. And then eventually, they started to sing the tune themselves. And they started to pick up their own instruments and go back and forth and sing and dance in and out of all of the rooms until the house was full of noise. At that point, the daughter called the lawyer over and she said, I have not only filled this house once, but I've filled it three times. How do you come up with that, said the lawyer. Well, she said, I first filled it with music. And then the people came and danced and they filled it with joy. And where there's music and there's joy, there is life and it is in the entire house. And the lawyer looked at her and he said, I can't really argue with that, though I'd like to try. But he couldn't. 
And so the farmer's married daughter, she inherited the house and her brothers decided to stay on and help her manage the place. And whether or not she came, became a firm, strong farming lady or still was a merry woman, that's something I have to ask her. Thank you so much for listening. It was lovely to see you, though I don't see you. I see the back of my iPad. I'm still very glad you watched this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you like that story, please feel free to pass it along. There are many different versions and there are many different ways to tell it. So find your own way and enjoy. Thank you.